so you can't even hear anything I'm saying. I could be saying all sorts of things. Yeah, we gotta do a quick mic check. Okay. Mic check one, mic check two. Mic check one, mic check two. Why the fuck isn't the fly? Dude? So. Bananas. 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 So yeah, so there's the fly. We'll let you look at the fly. <clears throat> What the fuck's going on here, guys? We got nothing. I've got no audio. Hmm. There's got to be something going on here. Yeah. Something's going on. On. Okay, we got it now. Okay. Okay, we're back. So. I've so. Mike is coming from this one right here. Okay. Just so you know, you don't have to yell at anybody. Okay. So basically, yeah, I don't know if you what what you've heard or if you've heard anything, but <laughs> here we go. We're, we're going to tie a golden stonefly. Um, it's going to have a little bit of a, a UV detail on the bottom um, just to give it a little bit more punch. And um, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a fairly simple tie. There's a, there's a few steps to it. Probably the hardest part is getting the bias to separate on the back, tying on your legs. But other than that, it's a pretty easy fly. All right, buddy, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Show, okay. show us the recipe for the weekend, brother. Recipe for the weekend. Okay, so first of all, we're going to get our our hook in there. Okay, Chief, how are you? Hey, guys. Get some 22 caliber bulb set. After we do that, after we get our, uh, oh, I know what I need. Lead. I didn't put lead in there. Right down the bottom. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. We're going to use some one five, and actually that's good because this is what I need is some point one five lead. So for it was missed in the uh, description. In the description, I apologize, but you can see it. And all this does this is a stone flies are a bottom creature, so we need this to be. On the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah. So push that up. And most of it's going to fit into the head of your bead. Take a couple more wraps with the little tag end here. And break it off. Then we're going to start with our fluorescent thread. In the dark, it's like, all right. No, I don't. I'm gonna shoot some more on. <laughs> and we're gonna tie it all the way back. Just for the record. Yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. To our. Okay. Very awesome. I'll smoke here. Yeah. To right around the where the barber the hook is. And we're gonna get rid of our tag piece. We'll do a couple more turns. And then we're gonna put on our biots. Build up a little bit of almost a finished threat threat effect here on the end, and that's because I that's gonna be my little glow spot on on the back. So we take our bias and we want it to be the curve side out. And we want this to be about maybe just a little bit longer than the shank of the hook or the uh, barb of the hook. Not barb, what am I thinking? The curve of the hook. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. That just went right on by me. And like I said, these things are a pain in the butt. Especially when they don't have a lot of material to separate them. They tend to want to do what they're doing right now, which is
There we go. Money. And you're just firing that up the shank for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna for a little bit of body because there is really all I have to build up my body on this on this hook is the um dubbin. is the dubbin. Well, no, is the is the vinyl rib, right? I'm, I don't put any. I'm not putting any. Oh. And because I'm actually, I can't do that because on this recipe, Brad, I'm changing it. I want to be able to see all that. All of that, uh, yeah, blow. So, I'm rather than wrap them up, I'm gonna trim them off right there. But I will wrap all the way up to the the start because I want to start my rib right behind the lead wire there. First. And this is again. This is a this is a D rib. This isn't just a straight rib. So it's got flat side and a, a flat side and a curved side. Round of thirteen again. <laughs> and we are live. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. You're you're blaming that on Friday the thirteenth, are we? Yeah. Okay, I'm with that. Yeah. I I can. I figure you would be. You, got, yeah. you want to cut those sprays away yet? Too. You got a bunch of sprays hanging. Okay, yeah. So that was all because of Friday the thirteenth. Just so you know, and if it happens again, definitely, it's because of Friday the thirteenth. There's no question. And it's a stonefly, so I, rather than leave that on top, I'm trying to build a bit more of a, Earth. yeah, a little bit more wider of a, a wider hook rather than a, a really tall hook. Kind of gives a bit, gives it a bit more of a, profile. yeah, it gives it a little bit more of a flat, a flatter profile. So just working the thread down to the end with the. Uh, And as you get down to the bottom part here, you're going to want to start pulling on the vinyl rib so that you make it a little bit more narrow. But don't pull it so hard as to break it because I've done that before. Okay, so we got that on there. We're gonna trim off our little <laughs> end of the vinyl rib. Now here is the point where you have to make a choice. Do you want to have the do you want to have it fluorescent the whole thing? Because the whole thing at this point, if you don't do something to it, it's gonna it's gonna shine like that through there. So what I do, and you can do and you could use different colors too. You could use a red. You could use whatever color you want to use yeah. i'm going to use black first first thing i have to make sure that i've basically got my shape from my body i'm a little bit need a little bit more thread right there just to just to even it out a bit yeah okay so and then we're going to take our sharpie and we're going to go like this so roll it over and just show us exactly what you're doing this guy. Hopefully um, that thing's up. But... So I'm just putting a little bit of black on it. Good, Mike. We're right in the middle of doing Friday Night Live. So uh, and what that's going to do is it's just going to block out the UV. And it also, you if you go down the sides just really lightly, it gives a little bit of a modeling effect as well. The amber will still show through. You know, you're still gonna have that amber translucency. Oop. Oh my gosh. Okay, camera there, Sky. There we go. That's where the uh earth thread comes in if you bump that sucker. Oh. 
I'm almost making Positive or uh, oh, yeah. oh, right. 791 minus. <coughs> okay. So we're going to wrap up our vinyl rib. Just making sure that I have the right side where it's supposed to be. And I put in a few more. Tie off that vinyl rib. It's close, maybe a little bit long, maybe a couple too many. It doesn't really matter. I can put my my shell back over that. So that's that. You get rid of that. And we're going to tie on the Lake Cahill. Perfect. Where did you put it to? Well, there it is there. We got to put it on our shell back. Is the next step. So you want to take your shell back, cut it. So you have a little bit of a point, not too much. And you want to have, there's a shiny side and there's a non-shiny side. You want to have the shiny side down and same thing you can just pull it back I'm gonna I'm gonna go over my probably a couple of the Pretty close. And I just use that vinyl rib just to build up the body a little bit there so I don't have to deal with it as much. It's, it works. Yeah. So once I've got that on there, that's the thing about time flies live, too. <laughs> Seasoned veterans. So you want to build up, I want to build up a little bit of that golden. The golden uh, dubbing there underneath. And then we're going to tie off or, or do a wrap around the, the shell casing on the top. And we'll back wrap a little bit. And that what that does is that just Gives us a little bit of a, a lip or a little rise between the segments. And the segments on the stonefly are the first one is 
second biggest, the middle one's the biggest, and then the top one is the is the smallest. So I'm trying to make this part of the shell the biggest and keep it square and all those things. So we're gonna tie on. It's almost, it's almost step. What's that? It's like step. It's like a step. Yeah, exactly. That's a that's a very good description of it. Get my legs out there. Well, I'm just sort of thinking here for a second. So I'm gonna put on a little bit more yellow. You don't really need a whole lot. A little bit of dubbing trapped on top there, that's even fine. And then we're gonna do our last our last one, but before we do that, we have to put on our little legs. And I'll do a version of the same fly with two sets of biots. I'll do another set of biots that come out here, and then it has the. You need double bead it too. I've seen that? that same fly tied with double bead. It looks pretty mean. Yeah, I've tied it actually with three beads. Really? Yeah. Now that's just a little longer. Over the top side, I'd say it, it is a little bit on the top side. Yes, that is one crappy looking rubber leg. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you think it's just like it's limp? It, it's not standing up like it should. Yeah, that was we'll just get rid of it. It, it. it wasn't the right rubber leg for the job. Yeah, that was the opposite of the rubber legs. So we got our first rubber leg in there. You're going to be a pro with these rubber legs by now, eh, bud? Yeah, I'm sure yeah, I'm really yeah. I try. I try. They're not as easy as they seem, that's for sure. Well, they're round. They roll and twist. And... I'm not a fan. Of, rubber, of round rubber legs? Rubber legs? No. Oh, I like them. I really like them over... over uh, Okay, so at this point here, this is where we've got the golden in there. Now I want a little bit more spikiness, and I want a little bit. Um, basically, just done with the golden double. We're going to put in a little bit of the spiky squirrel. Yep. Make it spiky, bud. Make it spiky, finish it off. It, Make it a Scotty Holmes fly. I love tying nymphs. Like they're definitely my favorite, one of my favorite flies to tie. And this will also help to separate those legs. You just gotta kinda work it in. Nice and not a finish trim yet, but we'll just somewhere like that. So we'll take a look again and see. What's up, boys? This is where you don't want to break your thread. So yeah, we're just fin finishing tying off the skin casing, and as I said, it, if it goes well, you should have this should be the 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 second biggest. This is the biggest, and then the top one is the smallest. Out there to do any fishing? No. 
So I'm just working that in there. Do a couple wraps in the front. We're going to trim that off. Oh, I did it again. Too close. The camera's too close. And so now that we have all that on there, we're pretty much we're pretty much done. All we have is like the last little bit of dubbing and you know, take your choice. I've put black on, I've put the spiky squirrel, I've done it with uh some like some really yellow. That actually would be really good too. I like that. I just like finishing off those last little wraps. And I'm going to use Scotty's whip finish tool because I forgot mine or I don't have it closed. So the key here is to not capture your legs, obviously. No, no, watching. Oh, um, just over a million. Oh, that's no, that's a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, hundred thousand, hundred six thousand. Sure, I thought it was just over a million, but it's actually just over a hundred. Okay, 000. so oh, yeah. there you go. That's that's the uh, use it down today. All the dummies on there. We got our legs on there. We got our shell back on. Got that thing with a buggy. Looks good. Looks like it's just going to climb right out of that vice, but That's the whole problem I have with this fly. The biggest problem I have with this fly. Oh. <laughs> Come on it's stairs. too close. It's too close. It's too close. Next time, I'm, I'll move it back. Oh, it looks good. It's so, it's so good. So there you have it. Clear, it? There it is. Yeah, no, it's yeah. Golden stone fly, and then we will shine a little UV camera on it. Buddy, look at that thing. Right, it's got the little. Oh, no, 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 can't see it. You're shining right in their eyes. Seizures. Yeah, looks good. Let's go up top, buddy. There it is. Update. Okay. Friday night flies. Uh, Scotty Holmes tying up stone fly. Uh, give it a try. I mean, it, that that pattern is pretty much the same. You can use black, um, which is probably more prevalent around here. This would be more of a Thompson River fly. And it depends. Like I've, I've seen them. Yeah. Really? Brown. Yeah. You know, I I haven't seen a lot of golden still flies on the on the bird though. It's mostly black that I've well, seen. Later yeah. In the season. Later yeah. In the season, is that black it? Yeah. Gold. But um, yeah, definitely a use for them. And uh, like I said, you use the pattern. You just change your colors basically that's all you got to do um i think scotty's up for another fly right now what are, what are you tying now scotty um maybe i'll do the uh the streamer that the, the second streamer from the video oh okay uh, nice so scotty's gonna tie up the streamer pattern his go-to pattern not fish on delivery but the go-to pattern yeah that'll be good that'll be good okay well uh scotty holmes saying until next time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>